Live from the National Constitution Center in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, once again, Charles Gibson. Both of you in the past have supported strong gun control measures. But now when I listen to you on the campaign, I hear you emphasizing that you believe in an individual's right to bear arms. Both of you were strong advocates for licensing of guns. Both of you were strong advocates for the registration of guns. Why don't you emphasize that now, Senator Clinton? So I believe that we can balance what I think is the right equation. I respect the Second Amendment. I respect the rights of lawful gun owners to own guns, to use their guns. But I also believe that most lawful gun owners, whom I have spoken with for many years across our country, uh, also want to be sure that we keep those guns out of the wrong hands. And as president, I will work to try to bridge this divide, which I think has been polarizing and frankly doesn't reflect the common sense of the American people. Uh, so we will strike the right balance to protect the constitutional right, but to give uh, people the uh, feeling and the reality that they will be protected from guns in the wrong hands. Senator Clinton, you have a home in D.C. Do you support the D.C. ban? You know, um, George, I want to give local communities the opportunity to have some um, authority over determining how to keep their citizens uh, safe. But what do you so think? If, do you support well, it or not? What I support is sensible regulation that is consistent with the constitutional right to own and bear arms. Is the D.C. ban consistent well, with I think that, that right? I think a total ban with no exceptions under any circumstances might be found by the court not to be. But I don't know the facts. But I don't think that should blow open a hole that says that D.C. or Philadelphia or anybody else cannot come up with sensible regulations to protect their people and keep you know, machine guns and assault weapons out of the hands of folks who shouldn't have them. Do you still favor licensing and registration of handguns? What I favor is what works in New York. You know, we have a set of rules in New York City and we have a totally different set of rules in the rest of the state. What might work in New York City is certainly not going to work in Montana. So for the federal government to be having any kind of you know, blanket rules that they're going to try to impose, I think doesn't make but, sense. But Senator, you were for that when you ran for Senate in New York. I was for, I was for the New York rules, that's right. I was for the New York rules because they have worked over time. And there isn't a lot of uproar in New York about changing them because I go to upstate New York where we have a lot of hunters and people who are collectors and people who are sports shooters. They have uh, every reason to believe that their rights are being respected. You walk down the street with a police officer in Manhattan, he wants to be sure that there is some way of protecting him and protecting the people that are in his uh, charge. Senator, you were for that when you ran for Senate in New York.